for both players. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, Coach Wolves had mentioned that uh, this three-game stretch that ended today with Miami was going to be a tough stretch, and he went out in particular Miami as a tough opponent. What was it about the Hurricanes that uh, really uh, challenged uh, you all, and what was it they were able to uh, do successfully today? Um, they challenged us. They challenged us to hit shots. You know, today we didn't shoot the ball well at all. But um, defensive wise, we had a lot of breakdowns, a lot of breakdowns. So when you're playing a team like this, who's really playing well right now, you don't want to have those uh, breakdowns. So you know, it was a tough one for us, but we'll 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 bounce back. They're, they're a great team with a great coach who knows what to do, where to put her players in successful spots. Um, rebounding and defense were one of some of the main things, and like you said, our shots were were falling. Tonight. Allie, just in this season, have you gone up a combination inside that's been as tough as Montpelier and Puff that you can remember? A combination that's been that tough. I mean, they're great together. If you double one, the other ones, you got to box them out. They're, they're a really good post players, both of them. Both of them can score. Uh, I, I don't think I've played post players like as a combination that's been that good since I've been here, to be honest. So it was tough. <clears throat> I remember, I remember after the UConn game, uh, the talk was that you know that was just one game. There was still plenty of time left, plenty of games left in the season. After a game like this, do you have to just remind yourself uh, of that same mentality that you know there's still four games left in the uh, re uh, regular season and still tournament play left as well? Yeah, I mean it's the same thing. Same thing when you win. Same thing when you don't win. So that's it. You know. Um, this is this wasn't the final four game. This wasn't a sweet sixteen game. This was a regular season game. That's it. So of course you hate to lose. It's part of it. You can't win all games. So it's really part of it. It sucks. It really does suck. But you know, you have to move on from it. Can't lose one, you had a pretty huge block there in the first quarter on that. Just what did you see on that to uh, make that play that got the crowd really fired up? Well, Coach Walls is always telling me to sprint back, so <laughs> that's what I did. And um, she knew she's gonna go in, so I just put my hand up and I got it. Luckily, this is a little bit different question for for both of you, Asia and, and Kylie. But Asia, especially you, after the game, fans are lined up all the way to the top of that lower concourse to sign autographs. It's probably not the first thing you feel like doing after losing, but you know what? Uh, what does that mean to you to see that response and? How do you feel even after a loss standing there? It's not, not easy, I'm sure. It's not much on the ground. Right. I mean, it feels great, you know, just to get a hug from a fan. Um, you know, I mean, we have great fans, even when we lose. You know, I mean, I sucked today. I played like butt, you know, so. <laughs> but, you know, fans are still there. Fans are still there cheering, smiling. It really makes you feel good. It does. So I'm thankful for that. Our best Another question I had Coach said on the radio, he was a little surprised. He said after the way this team handled Syracuse, the way it played at Virginia Tech, he was a little surprised that to see this kind of result. Are you guys surprised at all? Is there something the team has to kind of do to look inward at this point too? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all are shocked. We didn't expect to lose that game, but um, things happen. You know, we have to learn from this as part of our – our journey, you know, this is part of it. So we, this is another chapter to add to our book. So we learn from it. This, this is what we need to do. We need to learn from it. Learn from the things we didn't do well, not the things that we did great. You know, this is a this is a huge game where we can really learn from the things that um, we didn't do well and apply it when we need it. You know. Good. Thank you all.